So what's up, y'all? Um, it's gonna be another good day. It's cold out here. I'm waiting at the bus stop. But yeah, I'm going to check out this chapel called the Sante Chapel. I'm not sure if I said it right, but you get what I mean. But yeah, it's gonna be another good day. See some cool um, Gothic um, style architecture here in Paris. So looking forward to the day, the trip, and the content I'll get. So stay tuned. With me today. might be lost <laughs> or not lost but I might have gotten on the wrong bus that's all right I'll fix it because all these you know bus and trains go to the same central stations but man let's hope I make it to my spot in time because I do have a reservation for um, the chapel but yeah everything's gonna be all right well I wasn't lost but for some reason the station is not open so now I gotta figure out where to go. So I'm gonna get back on the train on the bus. To see where I go. <clears throat> but yeah, that's today's situation so far. So I should be good. Um, I'm on a bus to the next station. Hopefully that station is open. If not, that's going to make today's situation very interesting. But I don't know why the station wasn't open. Usually it is. Or maybe it's a Sunday thing. I'm not sure. Well, let's hope it's open, man. This is not going to be a good day. <laughs> Okay, okay, look like we got something. So it looks like we're good. The train station that I went to first was just closed, but the main one is open. But yeah, we getting um, headed to my location soon. So everything's gonna work out and it shall be a good day. Like I said, it's about to be a cool place because it's Gothic. Um, architecture here in Paris um, so yeah but yeah so once again I guess it's a Sunday so it kind of makes sense but it's not really packed today thank goodness um, like I said my ride is pretty short like 30 minutes so I'll be getting there right on time to get in line for my reservation because I can't get into the chapel until 1.30 and that's cool with me but everything's working out so it should be good it will it will be a good day you know time to get off let's see where we're going Down here in these damn tunnels, man. It's ridiculous. Like, it's cool upstairs, but down here it's cold. All right, it looks like I'm in the right general area. Do not to actually find the location. Technically, I'm not supposed to be in until 1.30, but let's hope that I can just get in line and the others let me in as the time starts to go, because it's cold. Goodness for early tickets. Get to skip the line, I'm about to be in in less than 10 minutes, so they all worked out. <laughs> Yeah. 
I guess I went the wrong direction. I don't know. But we're about to see. <laughs> Everything is working out so far. I'm sorry that it's so dark. Standing in the hallway, waiting in line. But I'm finally in here. This is already done. Like I said, this is gothic architecture, and I'm not fully versed on how it is, but yeah, this spot one of the like, most famous attractions about Paris. Check out up my GoPro stick on my GoPro but I can use my GoPro which is kind of interesting but okay back to the action Nice attraction here in France for sure. But let's see, it might not be over yet. Oh well, yeah, yeah, it was short and sweet. Um, that's all good though, I mean, I can't complain, you know what I'm saying? $10 tickets, got to see some cool stuff. I guess they got it closed off for certain parts. But yeah, man. All in all, it's not even about how much time I spend in there. It's just about seeing stuff and getting experiences, having a good time. But on the bright side, I was over here in this area the other day when I made that last video. So now I can go tour some more around here, see some other spots, you know, maybe another museum because there are some other stuff Excuse me, other things around here to see and do. So yeah. Overall though, that was pretty cool. Like just to see a chapel like that 
you know, the gothic architecture, like I explained before. And it was pretty artistic to me, like, you know, it's very nostalgic and cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure there's places in America like that, but not like over here. Maybe. Thursday. And so I know there's a lot more stuff over here to explore and find out. So I'm going to give it a chance to see what's up because it's still an early day. You know, still plenty of time to kill. It's just really cold today. Of course, we're right by the water, so that makes sense. We okay. yes. Let's get active, guys. And I wonder what kind of food I'm going to try today because I'm always open to trying something new when I'm out here. At this point, um, during my trip outside today, I saw this cool bookstore and I stumbled upon this book with Al Pacino and these movies from the 1980s. And then this book right here with movies from 2010s. And I was like, let me check it out. So then I just started looking around. And of course, you know me being a movie buff that I am, I was excited. And then, like I said, looking and I just kept on looking and searching and came across some cool stuff. Um, this bookstore was really interesting because it showed me a real different culture to how they operate here in Europe compared to some things in the States. Don't get me wrong. Nothing's wrong with the books they have in the States, but the books that they sell here are, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's it's just different culture. Like, they sell some interesting stuff, but that's their culture and it's pretty cool you know yeah so initially the only reason why I even stopped in that bookstore was because I had saw some movie books and you know, me being who I am, I had to check it out. So I went in the whole store and just started looking around and I mean, it was pretty cool. <laughs> Interesting, but cool. But um, yeah, man, I mean, it's crazy because like, I'm sure like you wouldn't find anything like that in America. Like, and, like I said, the openness to certain things that we in America, I guess, aren't so open to is kind of interesting. But like I said, that's the culture and it's cool that they embrace it rather than make it weird, you know? So yeah, but that was an experience and I enjoyed it. Back to where I was. I am getting hungry though, just walking. That's one thing about this place. You walk, you gonna work up an appetite, that's for sure. You walk around, you gonna work up an appetite. Well, check me out, about 10 minute wait. That's what's up. I don't know if I'm gonna eat this whole thing though, but it looks good, does it not? As you can see, it didn't stand a chance. But that was one of the most enjoyable meals I've had in my two weeks being here in France, so I can't complain. Also, I didn't eat breakfast this morning. But this place right here, I'll show y'all on the outside when I go out the name, but I would highly recommend this place. A nice hole in the wall spot too. As promised, this is the name of the place. Yeah, man, if you ever here, check them out. The time to get back to the journey and where we headed to next. Let's figure that out. <laughs> got some energy back, got some food in my stomach, so now I'm back energized. But yeah. up into a circle <laughs> kind of 
somewhere near where I started, but that's all right. <laughs> We're gonna keep going and see what else we can figure out. All I know is that where I'm at, I'm not too far away from the Louvre. I have my I have very good situational awareness and I tend to remember areas I've been without any problems. So that's why I know I'm not too far away from the Louvre if I keep walking forward. But eventually I'll find something to get into or you know what I'm saying. But yeah, it's always an adventure. That's the cool thing about walking around. Everybody's like, no, I want to drive. No, walk around. You really explore and see more when you're walking around. That's just the truth. Looks like I found something. It looks like a type of exhibit, a museum or something. So let's check it out. So yeah, this is like a currency museum. I guess it's just some showing you the history of money and you know the history of France and everything as far as them coming to the Euro. It's pretty cool actually. Um, just get to see some cool stuff. Get to see like some like original documents or things like that and just really get to understand how far the currency here and everything that's happened here in france over the years has come and i think that's pretty cool to see you know but yeah this is the currency museum yeah decided to come back and see a movie today so let's see how it goes this should be pretty interesting, you know what I'm saying? It looks like an old school type of theater, which is kind of cool. We're in. Let's see how this goes. It's going to be real interesting. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good movie. Look at this theater, y'all. Pretty cool theater. <laughs> but yeah. I enjoyed myself. I can say I have this experience now. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Now it's time for me to call it a night for sure. But yeah. Also, the movie I saw was called um, Good Luck to You, Rio Grande. It came out last year in the UK, and I guess they premiered it here. But it's actually a really good movie. A really good movie. <laughs> but yeah. Time to get on home, man. Today was a good and productive day. <laughs> So everything's going good. Got on the train, no hiccups. Literally picked the right train for the first time ever. So it should be a straight shot to where I need to be. But yeah, overall today was a great day. Had some good times. Got to see a movie in a French theater. Man, yeah, I got a lot of great stuff to come at y'all with later, but we'll talk about that another time. And I made it home. This is probably the easiest trip of getting home that I've had to go through since being here but that's good because that means that i'm picking up on this train and bus system boy am i glad to be home i'm tired i got work to do still oh yeah and my first day of class starts tomorrow for my new quarter i update y'all about that whole situation and being in school while overseas too but yeah today was a good day and i'm ready to get inside and call it a day y'all be great till next time